Hello everyone, welcome to the Blue Cube channel. In this video, I will teach you how to change the speed of objects in Adobe Animate. In this tutorial, instead of using shapes, I want to import an image into the software. So, I go to my computer folder where the image is located. I hold the left click and place it on the document. And it is imported this way, simple as that. I hold the shift key and resize it like this. Now I want to change the direction of the airplane. To do this, I right-click, go to the Transform section, and select the Flip Horizontal option. You can see that the airplane's direction is reversed. Now I place it here and want to convert it into a symbol. I right-click on the image and select Convert to Symbol, set it to Graphic, and click OK. While it's selected, I press Ctrl plus C to copy it. I create a new layer. Now I press Ctrl plus V, and this way, a copy is created, and I place this airplane above. So the upper layer is for the top airplane. Now I move to frame 60. You can see that I am opposite layer 2, the top layer. Don't click here because it will select the lower layer. I click at the top in frame 60 and press Add Keyframe to create a keyframe here. I do the same for the lower layer and press Add Keyframe. So, we've created keyframes for both layers. I right-click on one of the frames of the top layer and select Create Classic Tween. I move the slider to the last frame and select Create Classic Tween for the lower layer as well. Now, to make sure their speeds are equal, I select both with the Free Transform tool, hold the Shift key, and move them forward. You can see that now both airplanes are moving in sync. I press the play button. See how both images reach the end of the path together. Now, friends, I select the top shape and go into the frame section in the properties panel. Look, friends, imagine you want to travel a distance of 100 meters in one minute. You can start very slowly and then increase your speed as you go, or you can start faster and then slow down at the end to cover the 100 meters in one minute. In animation, it's the same. We can start with the airplane moving slowly and then speed it up or vice versa. Now, to show you, when the image is selected, I go to the frame section, and in the effect settings, I click on Classic Ease. A graph appears, and we can choose different modes from this graph. Remember, in this graph, the steeper the slope, the faster the speed increases. I select another graph. Here, in the middle of the path, the airplane speeds up. In this part, you can see that the speed is low, and the slope is gentle, but here the speed increases. I double-click on this option and press play again. See how my shape starts moving slowly, but then both airplanes reach the destination at the same time. I select my shape again and choose a different graph for my work. In this graph, the airplane starts moving very fast. I double-click on this option and press play. I activate the loop mode so the animation repeats. I press play. The airplane starts moving very fast and then slows down at the end. But the bottom airplane, which is set to a constant speed, moves the distance steadily. So, as I mentioned in the frame section and effect settings, you can choose your desired speed here and double-click on it to set the speed accordingly. If you want to return to the default state, select the No Ease option, and you'll see that the line becomes straight and it returns to its original state. Friends, you must double-click on it. Let me double-click on No Ease again, and now our two airplanes are moving at the same constant speed again. Okay, I'll select Frame 1 again. In the Frame section, I click on this pen. Here, we can manually adjust the graph ourselves. For example, I select this part, and it gives me a handle. When you select the point, you can adjust the speed or acceleration of your animation like this. For instance, I set it this way, and I also select the top point and adjust it in the same manner. In this case, if I click on the Save and Apply option, 
this graph will be saved for me. I can choose a name for it and I click on the Save button here. You can see that it is now selected and placed here. I double click on it and press play. You can see that in this way my airplane starts moving slowly, then speeds up and later slows down again, completing the animation. Friends, these points are very important, so make sure to practice the different modes here to get fully familiar with the options. You can select different modes, double click on them and use them. Well, friends, the Properties Together option applies the graph we created to all frames, meaning both the position, scale, and rotation will follow the same graph. For example, if I enlarge the image at the end of the path, this enlargement will also follow the graph we've set. But if I select frame 1 again, I can set separate graphs for the position, scale, and rotation. You just need to click on this pen and set the graph for each option separately. For now, I won't go into too much detail. We'll work with these options in different projects later. For now, I'll keep ease on the together mode. In the rotate section, you'll see that auto mode is active. Let me reset the shape size back to its original state. I click here again, go to the frame section, and as I said, in auto mode, I can manually set the rotation for my airplane or shape. For example, if I move the airplane's nose downward at the end, you'll see that the airplane rotates like this. I press Ctrl plus Z to undo and go back to the previous state. In the rotate options, I can select the clockwise option to make the rotation follow the clockwise direction. If I select it, you'll see a number in front of the clockwise option. Here, I can set how many times the shape should rotate. For instance, I set it to rotate three times. Now, if I move the image, you'll see it rotates three times like this. I press play. Friends, any changes we make to the shape follow the graph we set here. Why? Because the together option is active. So this graph works for the rotation as well. Now I can tell it to rotate three times, but in the counterclockwise direction. So, I select the counterclockwise option and press play. Now you can see the shape rotates in reverse in this way. So, you can also set the number of rotations here. Now, if you want the tweening settings to return to the previous state, you just need to click on the gear icon and press the Reset Settings button. This way, all the settings will return to their previous state. Well, friends, make sure to practice this tutorial and the different speed modes I taught you, so you can fully master them. Until the next video, goodbye for now.